Water has become scarce at Chebi and its environs, and for the past days, residents of Chebi search for potable water day and night. This is because the operations at the Chebi water treatment plant has been suspended. Pollution levels of the water at intake points along the Birim River has passed the acceptable threshold. The over 4,000 residents and their dependents who rely on the daily supply of 101,000 gallons of water from the Chebi treatment plant are in distress. We now buy and depend on pure water. The Brim River is closer, but it's now polluted. The river is heavily polluted and we don't know how long it will take to retrieve it. Maybe in three months it should be okay. Five of the Ghana water treatment plants have intake points in the Birim River. The Eastern Regional Public Relations Officer of the Ghana Water Company, Kwejo Dase, explains the intermittent shutdown is the only way out as long as turbidity levels are higher than usual. He warns the situation would be dire in the dry season if the turbidity levels still remain high. The effect of the illegal mining. So it means now the little water that is left in the rivers is what they are. I mean, if this, is not, this illegal mining is not checked, it means they will continue to uh, I mean, deteriorate the quality of the little water that will be left in the rivers and the water bodies. And the, the consequence is that uh, intermittently water companies will have to be shut, will be shutting down their plant, waiting for the water to get better. So you can imagine if it prolongs, then there will be shortage of water in, I mean, in all uh, areas where Birim passes. The Ochihini Osajifa Mwetio for repaying the second is concerned about the development and has called for the enforcement of laws against illegal miners. He wants them arrested and prosecuted. <laughs> Why should somebody's greed, somebody's recklessness, deny this ancient town water and Ruan Palavino? And they show, say, no, this is how it looks like. You imagine to me, ain't it this our day? And those who are doing this are criminals and they need to be arrested. There's no two ways about it. They are criminals and they need to be arrested. The Ghana National Small Scale Miners launched an Operation Halt Chamfang and set up a task force to clamp down on illegal mining activities on the river as part of plans to restore it. Deputy Regional Police Commander COP Emmanuel Chumesi Ankra gave his support to the task force but cautioned them to be guided by the laws. The Birim River, which derives its name from the Birimian Rock Formation, yields most of the gold in the eastern region. Mining activities over the years has polluted the Birim River, affecting water production of the Ghana Water Company Limited.